Hey guys, welcome back to the Z Code System channel here on YouTube. It's great to be back here with you. I'm Drew, and today on our show, we're going to talk about the UFC 251 show, which is coming up this weekend. And as you can see there on your screen with our latest blog from today, Thursday, July 9th, you can see that the UFC main event for UFC 251 has been altered uh, due to Gilbert Burns, who was supposed to challenge Kamaru Usman for the welterweight, uh, the welterweight championship. He has tested positive for COVID-19. So UFC has scrambled and changed the main event. Now the main event is going to feature uh, possibly a bout that is going to excite UFC fans even more. And that is Usman taking on George Masvidal. And this is a fight that a lot of people have been looking forward to because these two fighters have, I guess you could say, some bad blood dating all the way back to February or even before that. But in February, there was a uh, well-known incident between the two at the NFL Super Bowl in which they went a bit nose to nose and had to be separated by all accounts. So this is a very exciting main event. And even though it's been changed at the 11th hour, this is uh, one that we can all get excited for and uh, one which we could see uh, a title change hand. So today on our YouTube show, we're going to have a quick look at the UFC card and talk a little bit about the Usman versus Mass Vidal fight. And uh, as I said there, you can see our blog is right in front of you. So you can go over to the Z Code System website and you can check out the blog and read up and uh, get my prediction and pick for this fight. And we're just going to click on that real quickly uh, to take a look at uh, the blog. So while I have the blog open here, I just want to take a look uh, and scroll down and just show you the odds for the weekend's matches uh, in the main card. Now, there are going to be 13 fights uh, overall at UFC 251 taking place at Fight Island in Abu Dhabi. Now, depending on where you are in the world, you may watch this show on Saturday or you may watch it on Sunday early in the morning. Uh, I know in the UK here, it is going to be on at 3 a.m. BST. So it's going to be a late night, early morning for a lot of MMA fans. Now that depends on which uh, part of the show you want to watch, because as I said, there are going to be 13 fights overall uh, at the show. Uh, there's going to be a early prelim fight uh, card, a prelim fight card, and the main fight card. And as you can see right in front of you uh, on the blog, there are five fights for the main fight card. Uh, three title fights will take place in this. Now we're gonna, they're gonna kick off with uh, a couple of women's matches. Amanda Rebos taking on Paige Van Zant, Jessica Andrade taking on Rose Nema Yunus, uh, and then we're gonna get to the title fights, the bantamweight, a vacant bantamweight title is going to be up for grabs between Peter Yan and Jose Aldo. And then the featherweight title, the champion, Alexander Volkanovsky is going to defend against Max Holloway. And then the fight that everybody's looking forward to now that we have the alteration, Cameron Usman uh, defending against George Masvidal. And as you can see, the odds are up to date um, as of July 9th. And I got these odds off of my favorite sports book, which is Bet365. Now, of course, you can use your favorite sports book and get the latest odds on all of the matches coming up. Or maybe you want to use a uh, aggregator and you want to find the best odds from sports books around the world before you make your wager. And uh, I've got a little tail of the tape inside the blog here that we can have a look at. And as you can see, the ages are roughly the same between these two fighters. Uh, the champion coming in at 33, while Masvidal, the challenger, is 35. Uh, but Masvidal, with a far longer uh, record or more extensive record, if you will, in the fight game, 48 fights, 35 wins, 13 losses, 16 by knockouts, and two by submission. And as you can see there, he is the BMF champion. And everybody, uh, everything that I've read has praised his last 18 months in the fight game. He has fought... Uh, and won three straight matches in the UFC with his last match coming last November 
against Nate Diaz, in which he was able to win that BMF title. Now, of course, that's not necessarily a real title in the UFC, like the welterweight or like the uh, flyweight titles, but uh, it's still one that uh, was able to give him that uh, moniker of the BMF and uh, you know position him for this fight. Now, he goes in as the number three ranked fighter in the welterweight division. Uh, Gilbert Burns was the number two, uh, sorry, was the number one ranked fighter, but of course the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and him testing positive has forced him out of this match at the 11th hour. Uh, Usman going in is the welterweight champion, the Nigerian nightmare. And as you can see, 17, uh, sorry, 16 wins and one loss in his MMA career. He's unbeaten in UFC since joining the promotion. And you can see seven uh, wins by knockout, one by submission. Now, Looking at that, you can obviously tell that this is going to be a fight in which these two men are just duking it out because they're not much of submission fighters, so it's very unlikely that we're going to see a submission in this bout. Now, let's take a little look over at the UFC website because they've got some fantastic stats over there, so let's take a look at that right now. Okay, so I've got the UFC website opened up here, the matchup stats, and you know, if you want some basic stats... Uh, you know, actually more than basic here at the UFC's website. Go over there, check those out, because they do a fantastic job of getting you ready uh, for the upcoming fights. And uh, if we just scroll down, we can check out some more uh, statistics there. They go in at the same weight. Uh, Usman, though, has the height advantage going into this and the reach advantage. So that is going to be a big uh, bonus for him. Masvidal going in as a powerful puncher. Uh, his punching has been raved about in a lot of the uh, articles that I've been reading uh, building up this fight. But you know what? I think that he's going to, um, I think it's going to be a hindrance for him coming into this fight so late, having uh, fighting Usman that's been in fight camp and been preparing for UFC 251 uh, for the last few weeks to months. Uh, I know Usman was preparing for Gilbert Burns, who used to be a uh, teammate of his uh, at the uh, at his um, training gym. But you know he's he's got that uh, he's he's got that focus. He's he's ready to go, and he's been in training and preparing. Masvidal is the late sub, so that could really work against him. And as you can see there, forty four percent of uh, Usman's fights are KOs or TKOs. And 50% are decisions. Now, look at that average fight time. I think that's going to be a big uh, a big thing coming up in this fight. Usman can go those longer fights. As you can see, 16 minutes, 40 seconds is his average fight. Uh, a lot of his fights have come down to decisions. And you can see there, 50% of his fights, mass about 49% of his fights have come down to decision. But, you know, his average fight time is down lower. He's not been training like Usman lately. So can he go uh, long distance uh, in the upcoming title fight for that welterweight belt? It remains to be seen. Uh, he could do it, but right now I'm backing Usman to take this fight. I, I think he's a fantastic fighter in great shape. He's slightly younger. He's a little bit hungrier and he's just been bullying his opponents in the last few fights. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit more, you can see some of the significant strikes landed uh, or significant strikes there um, landed per minute, 4.6 to 4.11. Um, significant strikes, 50% to 48. Great stats here from the UFC website. And, uh, you know, you can use these to help you make your bets and to get that great information as you get in, uh, get ready to make these uh, wagers for UFC 251, absorbed per minute uh, punches there and strikes 2.17 to 4.18. So we can see that Masvidal doesn't have a glass jaw, but he's not fought anyone like Usman in recent times. So uh, just taking a look a little bit here uh, at the defense there, 60% to 67%. So this is going to be a really good fight, two really good fighters uh, going at it for one of the uh, biggest belts in the UFC. And I know a lot of fans of the fight game uh, in UFC. They love these lighter weight bouts. Uh, they don't, you know, it's just like boxing. They don't draw necessarily quite as well. They don't draw the big bucks, but they're fast. They're a lot of fun to watch. Uh, and it's a little bit different than the heavyweights who might be a little bit more, uh, they might labor around the octagon a little bit. So going to be a very exciting fight. 
And as I alluded to earlier, I'm backing Usman in this. I like him uh, for this fight. Uh, he, he makes those significant strikes. He doesn't absorb so many strikes per minute. And most importantly, he's been training longer for this uh, for this competition, for this uh, UFC event. And I think that's going to help him in the end. Now, of course, we are, uh, it's Thursday today, so the UFC show is still uh, roughly 48 hours away, I guess you could, uh, I guess. And so there could be some more scratches to the fight card, for the main fight card. Uh, all the fighters will be going over to the UAE uh, to prepare for this. And, you know, I think, I know for me, uh, when I saw that uh, Gilbert Burns was scratched from the card and the uh, the main event was changed, uh, that threw me for a bit of a loop because, you know, it, it almost felt like everything was set in stone. Building up for this, I know the UFC injuries happened at the last minute and such things, but, you know, he was uh, found to have contracted COVID-19. And so this is going to be something for every sport that we're going to be going forward for. Uh, I know for baseball right now, I wrote about recently in our baseball blog uh, from earlier this week that uh, with baseball, some players have opted out and some players are can, um, testing positive right now for the coronavirus and uh, won't be able to participate uh, from time to time. Uh, and the NBA has rules in place for players to sit out. Major League Soccer uh, in the U.S. right now has players testing positive for their uh, comp cup competition that they're uh, putting on right now. So a lot of uh, athletes in the U.S. right now are uh, either testing positive for the coronavirus or they are under a massive fear of contracting it. And it's very different than sports elsewhere in the world right now. Uh, in uh, Germany, they were able to complete the professional soccer league season. Uh, in England right now, uh, uh, Spain and in um, Portugal and Italy as well, they are fulfilling out the uh, fixtures list in uh, football and as well as other sports are coming back, such as cricket and uh, rugby isn't too far away. So there's a lot of sports uh, in other parts of the world right now that are uh, soldiering on, uh, not finding athletes uh, to have contracted the coronavirus. But right now in the U.S., these U.S.-based sports are finding some of their participants to be uh, having the, uh, the illness. So that's one thing to keep an eye out on this weekend, as well as on betting uh, over the next few weeks, whether it be on the UFC or any other sport in the U.S. So this is going to be the big fight, the big fight this weekend that everybody's getting excited about. But don't sleep on these other title fights, Volkanovski and Max Holloway and Peter Yan and Jose Aldo. I think that Aldo fight is going to be really good. Aldo going in uh, as a very big underdog, but I think he might surprise uh, Peter Yan in that fight. And of course, we've got the two women's fights there. Now, again, there are, um, what is it, eight prelim fights coming up on the early prelims and the prelims card. So definitely you've got loads of MMA to bet on this weekend when the UFC comes at you with uh, UFC 251. Now, before I go today, I want to show you real quickly one of the tools over at Z Code System that you can use this weekend to help you out with your sports betting. So, guys, I'm over at the VIP club here on Z Code System. And as you can see, we've got all these different tools. And if you've watched our videos on our channel before, you know that you can go there and you can find predictions score predictions, and uh, some other great information ahead of various NFL or soccer or uh, other types of games, basketball, uh, baseball, what have you. But we've also got another tool that you can use uh, coming up for the UFC 251 show. And all you have to do is go to the bonus tools and scroll down to the line reversals tool here. And click on the line reversals tool, and that's going to take you to where you can see the line reversals coming up for the UFC fights. And I'm just going to click on the drop down box here and bring up UFC 251. And of course, during the fights, you can have this open so you can see the line reversals and see how the money is going uh, for the wagers on these fights. And as I scroll down here, you can see the different odds. And you can see the different fights coming up. Uh, of course, this one will be uh, modified uh, soon. And uh, you'll be able to get those line reversals. So you'll be able to find these over at the Z Code System VIP Club. 
And all you have to do, and we'll just pick this, uh, we'll pick uh, Rose and Jessica going at it here uh, on the main card. And all you got to do is click on that and it will take you down to the bottom of the page and you'll be able to see the line reversal. Now, of course, this is going to be a lot more active uh, on Saturday when the fights are uh, upcoming and you can follow this and track it as the action unfolds or right up to the fights actually um, to get uh, that last minute information before you make your smart wagers on your favorite online sports book. So guys, I hope you have a great time this weekend betting on UFC 251. I hope you enjoy the show. Uh, it should be a great show. It should be a great main event. I'll be looking forward to it. Going to be on a little bit early, so I might have to, to uh, record that on my, uh, my satellite box uh, and watch it when I wake up. But I'm looking forward to the weekend and looking forward to that main event. So guys, good luck with your sports betting this weekend on the UFC or whatever it is that you're going to be betting on. Use those Zico system tools and please, guys, give us a like here if you love this video, if you like this video, and subscribe to the channel so you can get updates every time we post here on Z Code System. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Good luck.